Now I love Cooley High. You have I such a great Cooley. role you in that. You got good taste. I like this. <laughs> you know, here's a check. <laughs> now that was like, what is that? Like your third film that you made? Is after that was Claudine. my second uh, major film. I had second done a movie film. called Claudine before that. Yes. And I did Death Wish, which I had. A, I got shot in the face by Charles Bronson. So. <laughs> what a life, man. <laughs> and um, and so Cooley High set you up for Welcome Back, Carter, right? Because it was like they were kind of happened on top of each other. Oh, in, I see. In that, uh, early era of the, uh, the early mid 70s a lot of things were going on so I kind of did them back to back I did Claudine Cooley High then Welcome at Cotter but they were all at the same time in those days they would leave a movie in the theater for like two three years yeah. so you know it just looked like you had it going on all the time so it was a little it's a little nuts but it was cool now did you did you have a feeling that Cooley High was going to be a very special movie I had no idea because it's you know, landmark when I did it I, I had done the movie and then I came out to Los Angeles to do a, a series Welcome at Cotter Cooley High was playing for five weeks or so in New York, and a friend of mine who I went to school with, Machiste Quintana, started selling, sending me the film clips. I was like, oh, wow, and I, I, I was flipped out. But then when I went back, everybody was like, yeah, Coach Cheese, what's up, brother? You know, give me, let me hold ten dollars, you know? So, that's how it rolls. Yeah. Now, are you excited to be reunited with the, your other cast members? Always. I mean, you know, I, I actually have to see them. I see Glenn pretty good and yeah. Garrett. Stephen Williams, he, he may not be able to make it because he's down in Minneapolis on a movie, but he's, you know, we're all good friends. Michael Schultz is my buddy forever. We're all excited to see Cynthia Davis who played the, because we haven't seen her since. A lot of the people thought she was like demise or out of it. This is my cousin Kevin who wants to be in the business. Hi, you know, and nice to meet you. That's right. He's, he's a regular in America's Most Wanted. So don't worry about it. You go to any post office and you'll see numbers like this. You know, he's got, he's, you know, we, we know who he is. Uh, they'll, they'll get him. Yeah, okay, so. So, you know, we're, we're excited to see Cynthia. That's, that's our big highlight because we just want to love her up and hug her up and, you know, make her feel good. And I hope she comes with her daughter. Huh? Uh, yeah, man, it's real, you know, and we're all saps, you know. We're all trying to play tough guys. We're all chumps, but, you know, it's all good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Claudine, I'd love to know a little bit about what that experience was. Uh -huh. Claudine was great. I was, when I got it, I was 19 turning 20. Um, the first time I met Diane Carroll, who I stayed close to till you know, the final end. Um, I had heard of James Earl Jones, but I'd never worked with him. It was an, an insane experience. But what I realized in doing uh, Claudine at the time, at the time they had a lot of what they were calling black exploitation films, and this was like not one of them, although it was a black story, but it was a realized role. So I said, i, I got to wake up here. And go for it, but it was, a, it was just a wonderful. I, play, I played a movie years, um, years later called The Jackson's an American Dream, and I played Joe Jackson in the movie. When I see Claudine, sometimes I said Claudine was my rehearsal, like, that's him as a, as a kid, and he came to this. It was a, the, one of the greatest experiences in my life till this day. Very good movie.